Hi everybody and welcome to the Great Lakes Fisherman's Digest Hot Bites Fishing Report. We have two awesome reports for you on this wonderful Thursday in northern Michigan uh, as we're filming right here at Captain Chuck's. Uh, the first report is going to come out of the Cadillac area um, and our awesome guest reporters as well, um, Heath, um, he gives us a two-day report um, where he starts his first day on Lake Mitchell. Um, he was really concentrating on Lake Mitchell. Um, he knows there's a ton of pressure there, but he does find a lot of success moving around. Um, he tells us that you got to be moving constantly through main, main lake weed beds, um, 7 to 12 foot of water. He fishes in them and around the outside of them. And he's been finding a lot of success on panfish, um, some perch, bigger bluegill, crappie, and a few walleye. Um, when you're doing this kind of stuff and you're punching a, a bunch of holes, make sure you're using your electronics so you know that you're in the weed beds or if you're just outside of them. Uh, again, he works all the way around it and then he moves. He says he punches anywhere from 30 to 50 holes before he really moves on and commits to a different area. Uh, while he's doing that and punching holes and moving around, he says to set tip-ups. Um, try to get your bonus fish, walleye, northerns. There's some good fish in that lake, especially of those breeds. So don't be shy to set your tip-ups as you're working around the area. Um, walleye were taken in eight foot of water on the outside of weed beds um, on green jigs. So I'm guessing that those fish are moving around looking for food. So try a little bit aggressive presentation for them if you're going to continue to jig. Uh, Tip-ups are a great way, so you always have a lure in the water. But if you're getting fish that are flashing in and out on your electronics, probably going to be a predatory fish, so your northerns and your walleye. Get those jigs about halfway up in the water column in that shallower water, that 7 to 12 foot, and really work it up and down. And even start in the mud. If you get on the outside of those weed beds, hit pound that sand as much as you can. Make a little dust down there and get those predatory fish active. Um, again, thank you to Heath for a great report. Um, we hope that he has more success this season and we really appreciate it. Make loading and unloading your boat easy with the Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch. Load with ease, simply drive on the trailer and the Dorado will automatically latch to your bow eye. A hard plastic liner protects your boat. For launching, back your boat in, pull the release lever and away you go. For roller or bunk trailers, the Dorado is quick and easy to install and works with most V-Hull boats. Spend less time at the landing and more time fishing. The Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch, online at doradoproducts.com. Our second report comes from Drum Drummond Island um, from Captain John at Custom Eye Charters. Um, if you're looking for a trip, he's a great guy to get a hold of. He really knows the area. Um, perch are really starting to heat up up there. Um, again, there is some searching, but the bite has been good and it's going to continue to get better throughout the season. Um, while you're out there, if you're going out on your own instead of calling John, um, really focus on the, what they call the middle grounds. It's 12 to 20 foot of water. Um, fishing jigs with minnows or waxworms. Um, rip and wraps are also a good choice. And if you're going to use minnows, um, try to give them two presentations. Use tip ups and then use jigs as well. So you're really covering a lot different water and water columns. And you're always continue fishing if you're going to punch holes and move around with the jig. Um, a few herring are starting to show up along with whitefish in the area. So keep that in mind as you're up there in the same 12 to 20 foot of water. Um, Scotts Bay has been producing large pike and the same for perch. Uh, it, Scotts Bay is a great area to target. Um, it's very accessible and it's a great area um, to take family out when you're looking for that monster pike or if you're looking just to get on a big, big group of perch as well. Um, again, thank you to John up at Custom Eye Charters up there. Um, if you are looking to get out with him, he has dates available so don't be scared to give him a call. Thinking about buying a new boat or UTV for next summer? Be ready now and order your 2022 model early and beat the crowd. Ordering right now will save you money and the hassle when 10 other people want the boat you want that's in stock. It's never been easier to order early and get the pontoon or UTV that you want at Lakeside Motorsports Macasta and Nelson Speed Shop in Greenville. With over 36 name brand manufacturers to choose from, top-notch service department, and a state-of-the-art service facility, why go anywhere else? Be ready. Order your 2022 now. That's what we have today for Thursday's Fish Hot Bites Fishing Report. Um, thank you again to John up there. 
We really appreciate it. Um, again, if you guys are looking to get out, give them a call. Um, stay tuned for Friday's Hot Bites Fishing Report.